Fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Because I like saying shit out of order. Uh, well, technically that wasn't out of order if you think about the order. Well, it doesn't matter. Welcome to your shadow judgment. You last today. There it goes. And you might be dealing with some unbalanced shit with the Six of Pentacles reverse. Could be dealing with a Libra, right? Fire signs. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. It resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? So we're going to do this spread differently because I don't feel good and I need to get my whining quota up, you know, like, because I feel terrible. It's like, I, I got two more days, I got today and tomorrow of work, and it's like, ah, uh, I need a day off. <laughs> it's been a harsh time, I'll say. All right, what you get? The child I was meant to be. Fire signs. What number is that? Eight. These cards are so fucking interesting. The child I was meant to be. Moon phase is full. Which I don't, uh, I don't know. That drives me crazy. Like, why is the black one full? Oh, because it's the black mirror. Oh, so cliche. Uh, I hate that shit. Anyway, um, this stage is acceptance. An instant of clarity is the light I needed. Visual C. Tons of yellow lemon and plum magenta with casting of sky blue and bright morning white. The serene face of a woman with gentle gesture holds a small growing plant made of dreams and new leaves. Sentence, to go forward is to go backward, as hope heals the wounds of the past. Going dark, there is very little darkness in this card. It is a card of connection with ourselves. So many times it feels like dream, it's fleeting. What? Wait, so many times it feels like dream. Is it supposed to be dreams or feels like dreaming or... Uh, like the grammar in this thing is... Okay, anyway... It's fleeting, uncertain, and yet clear. The moment you close your hand to grasp it, it turns into fairy light and disappears, but it remains as a lingering smell, an imperial feeling of light, and peaches and blossoms. It is faith. It is hope. It is a warm smile at the other side of the forest of smoke and mirrors. We can be whole again. We can be pure again. We can be happy again. No matter what we did, we can't. Just know this as a gift of light among the cruel darkness. It brings no road, sometimes no solace, but it, becomes, but it can become a seed of hope, a wind of change, a place of safety. What? Okay, hold on a minute. There, I can't tell uh, like a place for safety, but they forgot the R. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm Capricorn, it happens, anyway. A place for safety in the storm. Even if it's gone, it was definitely there. Hmm. Interesting, fire signs. I feel like some of you are getting pushed out of your comfort level. Or your comfort zone. Alright. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune. Strength. Ew, Leo, you got your own card. And Temperance. <laughs> well, Sag, you got your own card too, but it's like... I don't know. It's like impatience or some shit, right? Like, you're feeling that impatience right now. You're feeling it heavy. You're feeling like, I just want to go on a warpath and on. Uh, all that shit, right? Like, you're just ready. You're ready. You need it. Someone needs to step up so you can relieve the stress, damn it. But I feel like you don't want to come together with anybody either. Leo, I feel like you're just holding, like, the lion's mouth shut. Because it's like, you know, no, no, no. We can't be, like, just doing that shit here. But you're petting it, too, and not being too terribly cruel. It's just acting funny. Like, playful, if you will. Aries, things are moving forward for you this week. I have to say. Like, you're rolling over the devil. You're on top of things. You're not waiting for something either. You know. Yeah, you're not waiting to get your heart broken. You're just like, ah, oh, nah, nah. You know what? I'm gonna catch a ride on this fucking wheel right here. It's got sinks and shit. It's got a sword to stab a motherfucker who tries to bring that shit to me. You know, that's what you got right now. 
Aries, for your week, um, you know, Leo, you are like definitely, I feel like in your element when it comes to bazaars, shows, working together with other people. This is actually kind of cool because like you and the, um, the air signs all came up with uh, cards of your element. And Leo and Sag, you guys actually have your cards. Um, Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarian energy, but still, that's a fire. It's like, huh, just all the strength right here. I feel like you're clinging a little bit to something, Leo. Like, everything was good, and now it's like, uh, and it's like, it's like an extension of sorts with this cup in the air, but it's like, you're trying not to look at it like, mm -mm, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not thirsty, mom. I'm sorry. No, mom, I'm not thirsty. It's like a thought process for you or some shit, right? Ah, sad you get three. Um, you're trying to judge accordingly with all this stuff, possibly dealing with a earth sign one of the one of the earth signs most likely either a Taurus or a Virgo I don't feel like Capricorn but it could be it also could be either way I feel like he's annoying I feel like he's annoying and he's petty like the Empress reverse right here because she's a bitter bitch when she's reversed just all in her feelings and shit not comforting not nurturing not being mother like not being kind that's what she's like to me when she's reversed like this in this deck and the king of pentacles for me he's like a liar a fibber he might think that you owe him something when in reality he owes you hundreds of dollars and then wants to come up acting like you, you, all mad and shit because you haven't gotten their 20 yet Motherfucker, I just gave you like 300 fucking dollars. Why are you coming up for 24, you know? Like, crazy shit, right? It's like, how dare you come up to me and expect me to pay for your shit? And, and uh, you know, I feel like... What is it, uh? This person likes being miserable. And I think you're noticing that, Sag. All right, back to Aries for your rest of the week. Yeah, no, you're dropping those swords and fixing yourself like, nope. You know, um, I have a shit to do. I already have enough people to worry about. <coughs> um, and I think you realize that something just isn't going to die or something could have changed, you know. Like, you're moving the calmer waters and you finally found a different place to take the swords and shit because possibly a Scorpio, possibly. Um, it doesn't have to be, but if someone won't change their ways or someone's refusing to let a situation die the way it is, so it's just like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm leaving then. I ain't want nothing to do with this shit no more. Right? Leo. Mmm, definitely. It's like... For me, this card's like someone's just talking to themselves. Or the way they communicate is like, no, no, why no, it, it, it leaves bad seeds all around. It, it like, uh, it fucks up the communication. It fucks up people's um, confidence, if you will, in this person, I think. And I feel like you want some new love, but it's like, if you talk to whoever it is you're dealing with, I feel like it could be an Aquarius too. Um, if you uh, try to talk to this person, they're just gonna like feed you bullshit. You already recognize this. And it's like, you'd wanna give them your love, but it's like, what are you gonna do with that, Leo? You know, cause these motherfuckers will hang your ass up and come feed you while you're upside down some soup, which is fucked up because that's gonna go up your nose and like, and that's why it's reversed. It's just like, okay, if you're gonna give me soup, I gotta be this way because like, I'm not having it burn my nose hairs. Okay, you know. <laughs> Like, communicating that you want love with these people, it's like, Leo, it's almost like you'd feel like they would be holding you back or keeping you in a position where you feel like you're stalled, you're not motivated, you aren't doing anything, right? It's like these people hinder you. Okay. Sagittarius, what's your code? Queen of Swords. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Someone needs to be gentle when they cut a bitch. 
be like, look, it's nothing personal. <laughs> you know? Like, make it quick, because you, you don't want to keep them emotions around, either. Just dump that shit. It's like... Hmm. Huh. Why is he dumping that cup for, I wonder? Oh! Okay! Okay, okay. There he is again. Yeah, so the King of Pentacles is just... It, it, it's like I said, this person has like, it's, they're just petty. They'll do shit just so you won't want it. They rub this pentacle all on this animal. They probably dumped it into its poop or just rubbed a, little, a bit of something like mud or whatever. They tarnished it. They purposely kind of ruined its value. Which is like, oh, okay, dick, whatever. You know, it's like you got to dump your cup. But you gotta be gentle with yourself, too. It's like, yeah, I might have to cut this bitch out and cut my losses because this person isn't giving me what I need. In fact, they're giving me shit to feel a, a, a bit agitated. And, you know, mm, it's like, okay, you know what? What's up with this King of Pentacles? Because, like, he's here twice. Definitely somebody who has an issue with paying their own fucking costs. You know? We got the sun and the queen of pentacles reversed. This bitch is reversed too. She's greedy as shit. But they're both cool with each other. It's like, um... It's like this queen and this king of pentacles are both really miserable fucking people. And they're happy with each other being miserable people. But the bitch is greedy and he doesn't like paying his bills. Hmm. Sagittarius, I think you found out that somebody was either married or with somebody else, and they're just being a dick and not giving you information like you fucking deserve, I feel like. Which is a damn shame. But, fire signs. That's the end of the Shadow of Judgment for this week. So if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. You know? I would greatly appreciate it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm the one but I will see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.